Welcome back. If you've got questions, we've got answers. It's time for Ask Dr. Jean. This is where we take questions from you, the viewer, and discuss some of today's hot topics. You can go to fightingthegoodlife.tv to submit your questions, and it's completely anonymous. Okay, Dr. Jean, are you I'm ready? ready? I'm ready. Okay, Dr. Jean, the first one is, I'm having a lot of problems with my teeth, but I'm only 26. Is it realistic to replace my teeth with dental implants at this age? Do they really last forever? <laughs> a couple of questions there. Yeah. And it's a hard answer because mm -hmm. 26 is kind of young. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I've seen some 26-year-olds with teeth that, that really all need to be taken out. And if you really? can imagine that, it's a traumatic thing. It's Ooh. like losing a part of your body, but losing every one of your teeth. If your teeth are that bad, mm -hmm. and they're that bad because of decay or gum disease, they should be taken out. And implants are a great option. Okay. They last a long time. Mm -hmm. but, but not forever. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> they can. Okay. They can, but... Sometimes you think someone who lost their teeth because of neglect or, or different mm, problems like yeah, that, they might do they're it probably again. not going to take care of their <laughs> implants either. So they are a great solution. Mm -hmm. They restore and they've given people their lives back. Um, but there's conditions where they should and shouldn't be used. Oh, all right. Okay. Are you ready for another ready question? For the next one. Okay. This one is from Des Moines, Iowa. She says, my husband is, was diagnosed with heart-related problems and high blood pressure. Since the diagnosis, he's been really good about his exercise, but I can't get him to change his diet. If I make a salad for dinner, he'll stop for a burger before he gets home. Do you have any advice on how to get him to modify his diet? Yes, I do. Uh, to say he can't eat a salad isn't necessarily a bad thing mm -hmm. because when you get down to it, what he needs to do most likely is cut his carbs. He needs to cut his sugars. The sugar, yes. Cut the sugars. Mm -hmm. You cut the sugars, you're gonna change the hormonal response in your body. You're going to change the way that you're reacting to all the other things. It causes, infl sugars cause inflammation. They cause all sorts of problems. If you cut the sugars, then you can eat the fats and you can eat protein. So there's- And you, you can know, have that burger. Eskimos don't yeah. have salad. They never mm -hmm. had salad. Genetically, they grew up and they ate fish all the time. They didn't touch a green thing because there's nothing green growing in that <laughs> stuff. So it's not a given thing, but if our diets are filled with a lot of the wrong stuff, then changes have to be made. Thanks, Dr. Jean. I love this. Oh, you're I love this segment. Me too. <laughs> if you're looking for a new activity that builds strength, improves flexibility, reduces stress, increases mental strength, and even helps conquer fear, rock climbing is an excellent choice. So Nikki, <laughs> you recently visited Sport Rock. I did. It Tell, was really fun. You had a great time? It was so fun. Take a look. Hi, Leanne. I'm Nikki. Hi. Good to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, we're here at Sport Rock in Sterling, Virginia, and this place is amazing. Tell me a little bit about what is going on here. This facility is awesome. Yeah, so rock climbing is pretty sweet. We have a lot of different things to offer. We have something for all ages. Um, you can start as young as six, as old as 30, 40, 50. Yes. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> um, and there's multiple types of climbing. So we'd like to think that we have something for everyone between our classes, our kids programs, or just being able to walk in the gym any given day and check out some cool rocks on the wall. So I see all kind. I see kids, I see adults, I see parents, I see all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And also you guys have different, okay, so this is bouldering. Yes, the okay, so bouldering so. is short, non-roped walls. It's okay. kind of accessible for anyone. You can just, you just need some shoes, some uh -huh. chalk, you can hop on. Um, and then over that way, we have our taller walls. They range from 20 to 40 feet. Um, and we have two types of roped climbing. We offer top roping and lead climbing. That's cool. Okay, yeah. so how, tell me a little bit how you started with this and how yeah, your totally. journey to do this. So as a kid, I just kind of went to a birthday party back in the day. And then uh, when I was in high school, they built a little rock wall in our gym. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to do stuff. And then a couple years, about two years ago, I decided to get a job at a climbing gym, uh, mostly because I just wanted to kind of have access to a gym and climbing is fun. It's a really great sport where you don't really realize you're working out as hard as you are because <laughs> you're so focused on everything else. Um, and then I just kind of fell in love with it and I do everything from indoor climbing to outdoor climbing. Um, the more that I can do, the better, I guess. Like someday I'd love to climb like Yosemite multi-pitch yes. walls, but <laughs> I'm not there yet, but eventually that'd be pretty cool. Well, what I like is that you guys do classes here. You mm -hmm. can, this whole segment is about trying new things. So like me, I've never done anything like this, but you guys have an awesome staff that mm -hmm. will kind of cater to experienced climbers, beginner climbers, and everyone yeah. in between, and you guys 
have some things. So you guys have camps. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about all the things that Sport Rock does. Yeah. So if you've never climbed ever in your life and you just want to walk through, yes. just like you, <laughs> we have this program called Open Belay, Open Climb. Um, today is a holiday, so we're running Open Belay and Open Climb here. So it's like $20 and you're with an instructor who knows all the ropes. That's me. Yeah. Um, and then we just get you on the walls. We teach you how to kind of try out the basics, which is really just getting up from, right? Like getting up to the top of the wall, getting comfortable with the heights, feeling the holds is step one. And then from there, if you love it, you can learn how to do what I'll be doing today, which is the basic skill stuff. The um, Yes, we have a lot of yeah, gear. The gear yes, so you'll learn how to stuff. do the harness, you'll learn how to use the ropes, you'll learn how to use gear, carabiners, cool. degrees, ATCs, you name it. Um, and then once you get certified, you'll need like a bunch of tags that say, you know what you're doing, you're not yeah. going to drop anybody. Um, you can just come in at any time. So rope climbing is typically a partnered sport. Um, yeah. And we have ways to meet people. We have like belay buddy groups, uh, meet up nights, all that good stuff. So you can always make new friends. And if nothing else, there's bouldering where you don't need a partner. You can just kind of hop on. And a lot of times you'll meet people through bouldering because you like maybe you're cheering each other on or you ask the beta. Beta is what's your moves on that climb like oh. oh man this hold was pretty cool that one was kind of hard i think you should reach this way or move that way um so it's a really social friendly sport yeah i heard everyone like encouraging each other mm -hmm. and someone was climbing and everyone was like totally psyched that they were doing this like crazy yeah. crazy move so i kind of like the team aspect of yeah. that Climbing is now a competitive sport, so we do send kids to compete on a regional level, a national level. Mm -hmm. um, we just sent two kids to the bouldering nationals in a couple weeks, yes, um, so that's, that's awesome. pretty cool. And Olympics? Olympic sports? Yes. yes, so 2020 yes. will be the first Olympic time, that, or Olympic sport, I guess, for rock climbing. So the Tokyo 2020, they've created a format. Good we years. might have future Olympians right, right here, right now. A couple of these little ones <laughs> running around. We'll be back with Finding the Good Life right after this quick break.